Hello everyone, now I've got a match between Flex and NP. Dropped it all, so the round 3 with the CT. So NP's got the same kind of snare build, the AD, Earth, and the Water. And we see Flex with ooh, Solar Frontline Ranger Necro 2 Mares. That's interesting. Looks like this build, uh, you might think it lacks a bit of damage because it hasn't got a warrior, hasn't got an Elso Jelly, hasn't got the kind of main things that deal a lot of damage, spike damage in a short period of time, but they might have a lot of pressure. It might be like a Hexway build, which would be interesting to see. It might do quite well against NP if they have a Hexway build because NP really won't have much to shut down those Hexes or punish them. So if Flux just hold the flag and maybe train AP8 with this build, that might have a bit of a build advantage, I'd possibly. Flux are holding on a dervish at the start, which would indicate that they want to cap first, and waiting with their necro for the second one. Obviously NP waiting with their dervish for the second one, so it means that they won't have to cap first. Yeah, passing off to the earlier here. Yeah. So this is going to really force Flux to cap first, which is the opposite of what you want against a flag push build. To be honest, MP could just let Flux cap here, and cap right over and have a full flag advantage. But this is already quite a bad start for Flux, even though they have a lot of pressure on MP, if they can't score kills here, then in a minute's time, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. They're taking some... MP is taking some damage. See the fly coming in on the necro. Hopefully he tries to hold it and not try and run it in through these snares into the trade point. Okay, so we do see some hexes. It's like double illusion mesmers. Okay, a migraine. Maybe this one's a migraine as well. They don't have any poison to spread. Uh, reindeer running back with the next flag. That's a kind of that's a very risky play, considering they haven't got this flag in yet. And they probably don't have that many interrupts on these mesmers considering they've got migraine bars. Oh, range is actually splitting off. That is a very interesting decision. Now they barely have any rups at the main team. Uh, Flux will barely have any rups at the main team despite having two migraines. I'm taking so much damage in this choke point. Yeah, there we go. So this, this dervish really can't afford to ball up on these uh, players. Well, while Flux tries to run the flag through, and there goes the flag return. And it doesn't look like NP is even really forced to respond to this BA Ranger yet. It's an extremely risky play to be splitting off like this. Especially in a build with a Necro and these two Migro Mesmers. It seems like this build is entirely dependent on the Ranger to be main team in order to get wraps off and to get poison off, otherwise they really won't have any pressure or damage. So even if the ranger takes down his footman, it doesn't really like, mean anything for NP. It doesn't really lose anything from losing the footman. So it's actually just see a water trident rather than MOI, which is new. I haven't seen a water trident in quite a long time. That will actually allow this alley to not stand in the trick point when they're trying to snare. He could actually stand outside the trick point and snare inside. Maybe he doesn't want to have to ball up with his team when they're blocking flags. So the ranger is still sort of standing at the back. He did get the footman down, but again, they're kind of meaningless. Splitting again. Even if he gets a knight, it isn't really a main thing, considering how much NP is winning the main team. And considering how it really does seem like... Well, there goes Jorn. So Jorn has Holy Veil, so I don't know if he is P and H or not. They must have known that NP was probably going to run a build like this. So. They might have spec pretty hard on their back lane like Mean did in the previous game. We might see PNH from Jorn, I would, I would guess. So we do see uh, Lux running a bit of a bigger split right now. But yeah, you might not be able to get that much from this. They don't even really have a monk with them, so they can't push into these NPCs, even with three plays against one. So the water alley is now back. 
So now Flux definitely have to run since they haven't got a monk on split side. They're even going to lose this 2v3, which is very unfortunate for them. When you run these kinds of splits, usually you want to send a monk flag with you as well. So that one damage character can't just defend against three characters like this. And this guy is going to die after time. So there's two dead after time, or three dead after time, one of them at the main game for uh, Flux. And the Dumbazma does have boss, which is going to mean much faster diversions, more diversions, and... So, yeah, I saw a PNH there. That must have been from Jorn, I think. There goes a the Sig Harm on Jorn, so no PNHs for a while. So even got Val on the flag, so they definitely were prepared for this with the back line, much like Mean was. There's the Sig Harm again. Uh, recharge quickly from the boost. It's going to be very hard, uh, Fox might actually lose the game before they get to base res. They don't have any, I don't think they have any reses up unless their ranger has a res. So that could be easily taken out. So there goes Jorn and they will, and then, yeah, I think that they will uh, not be able to base res in time. So a little bit unfortunate for Flux, they were kind of forced into a, a pretty weak position at the start by having by running the first flag in and being a full flag behind against this kind of snowball. This kind of snowball is quite strong on corrupted sometimes, especially like in the main match when you don't really have your wastrels, any wastrels, mesbrings, or any Ellies to really punish them for running a stall build. Uh, can't punish them, then it's really effective in these choke points. It's really difficult to get the flags there, and you often just have to give up on flags completely if you can't just kill them straight up. Yeah, so nice job by NP finishing the game pretty quick with a flawless victory. So thanks for watching, see you next time.